Hey everybody, I'm back for the seventh day of Christmas. These days are going by fast. And today we're gonna to feature one of my all time favorite things, laser products. So we have a number of different laser products. And what I wanna do first is just uh, share my screen and show you all of the different types of laser products we have, their laser cutouts uh, and how you find them. So let me just go ahead and see if I can figure out how to share my screen. Here we go. So hopefully you can see that uh, I am sharing with you. And uh, what you'll want to do when you go to the Creative Memories website, first of all, check to make sure that you see my friendly face in the left hand corner. Uh, that means you're shopping on my website and I'll get credit for your sale. And then what you'll do is go to uh, the search bar just right up the top, click and you're just going to type in laser, uh, which I'm doing. And once I do that, any product that has the name laser will come up. Uh, and so you'll see we have tons of different laser products and lots of different themes. Uh, so we have Christmas, Joy to the World, Deep in the Woods. Uh, you've got some sunflower laser things that are just beautiful. Um, laser papers, laser mats, <laughs> laser embellishments. Um, oh, and I love these. You got this laser cut borders. They're like blue jeans and zippers and other things that make really cute pages and cards. Uh, you've got a nice laser cut family tree, uh, all sorts of borders. Um, you've got some laser titles. Uh, so these are little cutout titles you can add to cards and pages. Um, so I'm going to show you a few of these. Uh, but just wanted to make sure you knew how to find them and that you can see the price and find the price. And so what my deal is for the seventh day of Christmas is if you buy any four combination of laser products, and again, that can be any four, um, you actually will get one of the laser title embellishment packs for free. Um, so right now we have pack four, which has these kind of woods, outdoorsy theme titles, uh, which are a lot of fun. And we also have laser title embellishment pack three. Uh, and these are just more, um, you know, family surprise, happy days, uh, photo op, again, things you can use on any kind of cards or um, scrapbook pages. So let me stop sharing my screen now that you know how to find these. And I just wanted to walk through and show you some of the fun things that I do with these laser products. So let me go ahead and share my desktop with you. Um, and what I wanted to show you, well, let, let me actually first make sure that we get this. Let me just flip this. So it'll be right side up. There we go. Should have done that before. Um, but um, here we go. We've got my mat. A little crooked may not drive you crazy but it would me um so here's just a little card that i made and this is using product from the uh new deep in the woods collection and i just love it so i've used some of the papers these wood grains you've got these kind of grid grid lines and ferns um so this paper pack in this whole collection the deep in the woods would be perfect for hiking uh, outdoorsy things, a rustic wedding, uh, out in a cottage, just in your backyard, um, or really for anything. I mean, I love these kind of textured patterns. Um, they look beautiful on anything. But I think this is really nice, um, kind of masculine looking card. It would work certainly uh, for girls too as a um, bon voyage card or safe travels. Um, but I do like the fact that this paper pack also can be quite masculine. So sometimes scrapbook papers can be a little bit on the feminine side. So I've used two uh, laser cut products here. The first is the title, and that comes from one of the laser title embellishments. And you can just see how it gives a little bit of depth and layer uh, to your card. And then um, this was a part of a laser cut border that I just cut out to fit the card, these logs. And again, those are both um, from the deep, um, deep in the Woods collection. So. Uh, really fun way to just make your cards pop up and have a little extra texture. So again, um, you know, I showed you the page where you can use the search feature to find all of the products, um, but just to make sure you know everything that's there. So they have laser cut borders, and these are kind of thin strips that you can use uh, to make really nice scrapbook page borders. Now, um, a little hint here, you get one of each type of border. Um, I believe there are six borders in this, no, there are 10 uh, borders in this pack, but it's just one each. So if you like to do 
two page spreads, you'll want to get two packs of these. If you like to have that kind of identical border to uh, tie your two page spreads together, you want to get two of these. Um, so get two of these and two of another, there's your four and you'll get your free laser title. So again, we have the laser borders, all sorts of different themes for those. Um, we then have the laser cut titles. Um, and again, on the card, I had used one of those laser cut out titles, um, which are quite nice. And then we also have um, laser cut mats. So mats are used to mat photos or um, they also have kind of journaling blocks. And for most of the laser cut products, if you flip them over, you have two different sides to choose from. So for this one, then you could just lay a picture on here. It would be this beautiful mat and adding this cutout element to your page. Or you could use this side. Uh, again, you could use it as a mat or you could use it as a journaling block. And some of these mats are cut out, so you just use them to frame your photos. This one in particular would be gorgeous in a Christmas album with the pine cones. It really goes well with the Joy to the World uh, Christmas album pack. So again, you see we just have a whole variety of these cut out frames that you can use to mat your pictures. So um, those are laser cut mats. And then the other thing that we have is laser cut papers. And these are um, 12 by 12 laser cutouts, so the size of a um, piece of cardstock or a 12 by 12 scrapbook page. And you can really use these to frame pictures. It really just kind of helps in a very simple way decorate your page. So this is a three pack, um, but again, each side is a different color. So you can choose the side that you like best. And I'm going to show you some of that as we uh, move along with the demonstration here. Um, so. First, just to the laser titles. So again, um, this is laser uh, title embellishment pack four. Um, maybe if I'll just hold that up a little bit closer. So um, these are some of the titles that you get with that. So you can sort of think about how you might use those on scrapbook pages or in cards. Uh, lots of fun. And again, there's one more that goes with the pack, the Enjoy the Journey that I used on that card. Uh, so I really, really love that collection. Um, and then what I wanted to show you is the laser borders. Um, so again, let me just pull the pack out without spilling my titles all over. Um, you get this package with 10 different borders. And I just wanted to show you some really easy ways that you could use them. So here I've created a scrapbook border. Um, and I can hold this up a little bit closer to you. Isn't that gorgeous? So again, if you had, you know, a page in mountains or pine trees or forests or um, any kind of traveling pictures really. So to make this border, I've just cut a strip of the deep in the woods paper. I love this kind of birch bark um, and another strip of a darker color paper. And then I just layered two of the laser cuts borders. So there was the pine tree one and then this kind of pine branch with pine cones and then just layered on a sticker. Um, so that makes a beautiful border just like that. Uh, you could also use sticker letters, put the title, uh, maybe the, someplace, the, a location or you know, fun day on the trails, whatever, you can make a title down there. Um, so that's just one way you can use those laser cut borders to create this really um, highly textured and pop-up border. Um, and then another thing that you can do is actually take some of the laser cut borders. So you could actually just put this down by itself and that would make a beautiful border. Um, but it's also kind of fun if you want to think about layering. So um, this one, it's not the full 12 inches because I'd cut a piece of it off to make my card, um, but I can still use it and layer it. Um, so these again are all some of the laser border cuts. And as you can see, I've just kind of layered them. I would adhere them down and they make really fun borders for your scrapbook pages or cut them up and use them on your cards. So love, love, love these products. Again, they really give texture and depth. Um, now what I wanted to show you was just a few of the uh, mats that we have. And for this, I actually pulled out a, um, the Sparks of Magic uh, mats, just because um, I think that they're so much fun. So I did show you earlier the Deep in the Woods, but the Sparks of Magic um, come in reds, golds, blacks, they're kind of your basic Disney colors. <laughs> if anybody needs to do a Disney album, the Sparks of Magic collection is great. But again, these are pre-cut and you, know, you can see they're cut out by laser. Every single one has two sides, so you can select the side that you like best. Um, 
and you can put that on your page, you know, any place on your page, and then just place a photo on it. So I've got these cute kids. Um, I used to volunteer at an orphanage in South Sudan, and we had done a Christmas party. Um, but you see how that just kind of adds a really nice design element to your page. So just lay a four by six photo on there. Uh, again, you could choose the red side. Uh, you could choose the white side if you had darker paper down. Um, they're just so, so much fun. Um, so here's another uh, example of this. So again, um, that's just the border and you can see how it adds really fun element to your page. Uh, you could use also the red and white polka dot side if that went better with your paper. Um, so again, Sparks of Magic, these are kind of uh, Disney eared. I love these uh, with the stars and you could actually use your custom cutting system to cut an oval or circle out to use there. Uh, they've got these really great star cutouts um, that make really fun, fun borders for your photos. Um, you could also put a journaling block or, or you could just use it as it is as an element on the page. Um, for this one, you could also put it down and then uh, use a sticker or cut out a title for it. Um, and then I also love this one with the heart. So again, two, side, two, uh, two, two sides to um, select from. So again, these are the sparks of magic, but just to give you an, another idea of the laser cut mats. Um, and then finally, the last thing I wanted to show you is the laser cut pages. So as I said, um, it's cut out laser, and again, you have a choice of two colors, whichever way you want to use it. Um, and I'm going to use it as the green. So I'm just going to put down a piece of um, light colored gray paper here, cardstock, that I would use for the base of a picture. And then you'll see that you could just adhere this right to the top. And then instantly you have an amazing scrapbook page. Um, so you could then just simply add photos that you have uh, in those mats. So that's kind of simple that you do it that way. Or um, you could actually add some paper, some designer paper. So this is from the Deep in the Woods pack. Again, that um, grid, uh, very versatile. You saw me using it on the card in the middle part. Um, but you put that behind and you can see how it adds just, again, some really nice design elements to your page. Um, so then you could add your pictures there if you wanted to. Um, another thing that you could do is decide to add another strip of paper or other colors of paper behind. So I'm just going to kind of put this here, the seven inch mark and the five inch, seven inch mark. So actually, this is really um, nice. I'm using my Creative Memories 13 by 13 um, self healing mat. And it's really perfect because when you put your 12 by 12 piece of paper down, the border you can still see with the ruler grid on it. So I could see I went in to place that around seven inches and I can just look right on this side and then make sure it lines up on the other side with the inch mark um, and gets it down straight. So, um, so again, I could do this, add this, um, and you'll see that it really adds a nice design element. Um, I've made this picture just because it was a little bit not quite big enough to fit in the frame. Um, this is a trip that I had taken up to Pennsylvania in Amish country. So I wanted to add some Amish pictures with this really out, um, nice outdoorsy scene. And so these uh, squares are actually four by four. So I have a couple of photos here. And what I'm gonna do is just get out my personal trimmer and cut those down to four by four. So uh, as you know, these are six by four, so they're already four inches this way. Uh, so I just need to cut them four inches this way. And I think that I want to uh, kind of keep that buggy, see, centered in the page. So what I would do, I'm gonna maybe cut a little bit first off this side, maybe an inch. And then I'll cut an inch off the other side, but um, there's a ruler again along here. So I'm just gonna put this at the four inch mark and cut that off. And so I'm gonna adhere this picture and you can either put it on top of the frame or you can tape it on the back of the frame. Um, I kind of like them taped on the back. Um, and again, I want this one to be four inches. Um, so, but I want the buggy in. So I'm gonna take this to the four inch ruler mark. Make sure I'm not cutting anything off. There you go. 
love my personal trimmer. So I have another picture, which I'm gonna uh, put here. And again, I would adhere those from the back so that you see the frame. Uh, in this one, you might need to cut down just a little bit further. So um, there you go. So I've just built this really beautiful page. You could journal a little bit here, um, add some descriptive materials. You could add a journaling box under one of these frames uh, or even add a few more stickers to make it um, a little more decorative. But really, uh, you can make this as easy or as complicated as you want. But those are the laser cut papers. Um, so this one, again, which looks like this, um, comes in with the deep in the woods. Um, you get three papers. Uh, so this is one option. Um, this is the other option. Um, so again, you have these frames that frame your pictures and you can either use the lighter side or the darker side. Um, but with these beautiful leaves, um, I just love that one. And then the last piece of uh, laser paper that comes with the Deep in the Woods is this tree bark one. And I absolutely love this. I just think it's amazing. And then you could mat your pictures and put them down. Um, just adds an element to your page uh, that's really amazing. So those, again, are just some things you can do with our laser papers. Um, let me just uh, bring myself back up, uh, replace the spotlight so I'm back here. So again, if you buy any uh, four laser products, then you will get one of the laser embellishments for free um, as a part of my seventh day of Christmas sale. Uh, again, take a look at the website, just click on search uh, and search for laser and you'll see all the different products. So uh, thanks everybody. And I really, really wanna see the cards and pages that you design with these products. Um, bye for now. I'll be back tomorrow with the eighth day.